if you're like somebody close to me or in my family, like this was just like completely for work. There was no extra benefits. There was nothing. It was just literally trying me trying to work on and off for four months. And then I ended up not being able to take it because Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to share my five craziest escort stories. And it's kind of a little bit clickbait because it's not exactly how it sounds. I've never actually ordered or called an escort in my life, but I was looking for a job. So I looked up security and then, you know, I seen this post a bunch of times, applied a bunch of different spots. This was the first one to hit me up. And so ended up just driving escorts for like, I don't know, maybe four months total, but you got paid horribly. You didn't really get to make any of the rules. So the first one, this one's actually pretty mild. It was at this very famous hotel. If I could find out what it is, like, I'll let you know. But it was like, people would actually turn down going to that hotel. So I went there and he's just like, yeah, give me my money back. Because I'll also I'm calling a hit on you. You know, to be calling a hit on you right now, like in my face, like dead in my face. Like he's like describing what I'm wearing. You know what I mean? And like, once I got later in to it, that was kind of mild. To me, we were kind of like ripping them off because it was $200 for someone to show up for 30 minutes and literally do nothing. Like everybody's going to be freaking pissed, you know? So that's number five. Number four, almost the whole time I did this, I uh, had an expired license, which is just like the dumbest thing ever because I live like 45 minutes from LA. So that's a big risk the entire time. And then I'm driving an escort around, like I'm begging to be pulled over. It was just so stupid. And we're in Newport Beach and we get pulled over. And apparently in Newport Beach, it's illegal for all escorts. And doesn't matter what, it's just if you are an escort, it is illegal to be there. So. They pulled us over. I kind of bullshitted them for a second. They kind of just knew. So she's like, just tell them everything. So like, all right. We told them like company we work for, what we're doing. And basically they said, if we tell them everything, that they'll let us go. And then they looked at my license and they're like, oh, well, it's expired. Like nobody could drive. And then I had two girls that night. And one of them, which was not my main girl, it was the main, main girl I had. And then there was another one. And the other one had an, a license that expired in like a couple weeks and she never drove. <laughs> so I got her to get in the car with either like heels or like just bare feet. She drove around the corner, she passed it over to me and I drove back. So that's number four. One of these times, um, there was like three drunk guys and one guy was like really drunk and he was really mad. And they all were kind of mad, but one guy was more drunk and mad than the rest. So he definitely like stared me down like as hard as he possibly could. And I had to like basically just respond like with that same stare. And luckily he didn't hit or like nothing happened. You know what I mean? Cause I literally, I feel right if I have to fight, but I mean, I feel like these guys getting screwed. So it's like, I always felt like, damn, I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm in the right here. You know what I mean? I don't know, but we barely got paid anything. So uh, we run into these three guys and we're at the top of like a second floor, third floor, and there's an elevator and we're going pressing the elevator to go down. But they're like, no, 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 we're disagreeing with all this shit. Like you're, we, you're not leaving. Uh, and then I, there was like stairs, but they were literally like, like imagine like, like an outdoor walkway and then like around the corner. So I'm like looking, I just don't, I literally don't see stairs. I go back into the building, I don't see stairs anywhere. And if I hit the button to go down, he's gonna come and hit the button to go back up or stop it. I mean, it was, he was seething. You know, he was seething. It was like one second away from him to going just like full absolute rage mode on me or like, or anybody. There was like two guys with us. And like the girl that I was with was just telling me like, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Cause he's like, he's like really pissed and I was taking forever just cause I couldn't find the stairs. <laughs> So number two, this is the time that I got arrested. That kind of freaking sucks. Because again, like, I don't really feel like I'm doing anything. Like, I don't do, I'm, they're legal escorts. I'm driving them. I don't know about anything that's going on. A lot of times if they do get tips, they're supposed to tip us out. But because of whatever they had to do, I don't know. Uh, was so just whatever that they're gonna want to keep the whole thing. That's just how it went Like we had a set little bit of, bit of money that we're getting that's it So this one was like another famous hotel. It's like really nice like right in downtown She's going up. It's like really high up maybe like the 11th 12th floor and like when you go up You can like see the all of LA. It was pretty nice So she goes inside the door and then I like walk around. I mean maybe 20 seconds later somebody's like walking around and like looks he sees me and he's like, he like, he's not sure if he has like the right person. He's like, oh, okay, well then come in here, you know? Like put me in handcuffs, like face me, kind of like sitting towards the wall um, for like 40 minutes as they talked and did a bunch of stuff. They gave me a ticket. The tickets were for court and we had to go in the same day. So we actually saw each other when we went. So that was actually really unfortunate because it's on my record. And then I was actually working for uh, like Chino uh, PD as a security guard. And I really liked it because it was like, I forget what it was. I think it was like, there were 11 hour shifts, three days of the week and then four days of the week, there was alternating. So you got like, always got bonus pay. You know, you didn't have to work very much and you got like pretty much a full schedule or full amount of money, which was so nice. I liked it and all, and all that. And I got fired because the money was going through the police department and then they ran a background and all that crap. So that's number two. And then number one, this one feels like the most intense. This on Christmas, I forget which Christmas, probably like 16, 2016. So 
and it was kind of weird, surreal to be like, you know, because I've been you know, up growing up and did all those Christmases, and like now, now I'm doing this. Like now, this is my Christmas night. Just early on, the night started off a little weird. I guess I'll just say this part too, because it's like a very non-issue. But it was one of the first places we went. It was like this rich, like house, like on like next to like a lake or something. Apparently, when I talked to my the girl that I was driving, one a girl thought it would be funny to just run away, like, oh, we're gonna go, like we'll be right back, and then run away and then just like drive away. And so they all did that. And then like, I think I ran or something. I was like, oh shit, let's run. And then like my girl got in someone else's car and I was like already kind of like pissed because it's like, I, what am I doing? I got to find you now. It's like, it's like, you know, it's like we're supposed to be working and all this kind of stuff. I didn't really understand. So that was the start of the night. And this was the last thing. I think it was like four or five in the morning. The girls go in, it was like a two girls, but like we were meeting. So it was like, there was me and another guy. They go in and like, they text me like, this is really weird. He's got like dolls and stuff in here. You know what I mean? And so I was like, oh, okay, kind of weird. We meet him at the door, the girls walk away. This guy's like, I mean, he's like a wall. He's got some strength that like, I just, there's like almost no way in my entire life that I would ever be strong enough to just out muscle this guy. He's just like a brick wall and he's like fat too, but he's like that kind of like, just like muscular, angry, just just like fucking like, I've just been powerlifting my whole life and I'm mad kind of look. Like, hey bro, what they did in here, that wasn't worth two, that wasn't worth whatever I paid. You know what I mean? Two or 300 or something like, you know, I'm just telling you right now, like, yeah, that's like, he's like, I was, uh, I was like, I was in the Marines. Like I know snipers. Like I know, I mean, he was like, like I've never seen somebody like so, like number one, he was heated, but he was like, I tell like he was serious. You know what I mean? Hopefully, I don't think he would have actually done anything, but it's like, he thinks we're like screwing him over. I mean, it was heated and we're trained to like either, usually what I would say is that I already passed off the money. You think they would like, you know, trust me with it. You know what I mean? I already passed it off. So like, I don't have, it. that's kind of what I would do. But um, he, uh, one of the other guys was like a really cool guy. You know what I mean? And he was just like, honestly wanted to keep the peace. Um, I think he might've been in the military himself. I'm not sure. Um, really nice, probably like the most relaxed guy, most normal guy I saw of the entire job. He paid this guy like what he thought, like a little bit of it back. And then because he did that willingly, like he has to pay everybody back like of that money. So you know what I mean? So it's like he um, has to like, I don't know, he has to pay a bunch of money for just no reason. He loses money just to keep the peace. You know what I mean? And like, I don't know what I would have done. I mean, my, my go-to was to like not back down under any circumstances or like stay to one story under one circumstance. So like, I don't know if it would have gone crazy there, but he's like one of two people that I've seen in my life that was just like off his rocker, super dialed in, angry and jacked. And he's like huge. Like he's just like completely like, would dwarf me. And it's just like, there's no point to even like mess with this guy, like just leave him alone, you know what I mean? So it's like, that was just pretty interesting. And then the girl I was with, just completely talked crap to him. Like, blah, 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 you gotta pay me this, blah, 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 why would you do that, blah, blah, blah. And then in the, when I got into the car, she's like, how'd you like that, you know what I mean? I told him what was up. And I was just like, damn. Anyways, um, I forgot to mention that the ticket that I got in the uh, second to last story was a ticket for supervising a prostitute, which is hilarious. It sounds like so just like in the depths, in the dark. You know what I mean? Like I've been just messing around. It's like, no, I, I got a job off Craigslist only for a little bit of money. There was no, there was nothing extra special about it. There was no like extra perks or nothing. So it's just like, it's just kind of funny that I got that. And they said, if you get like four or five in a year, it's a felony for pimping. One step away from pimping, but. Anyways, guys, that's been my five escort stories. If you're like somebody close to me or in my family, like know that this was just like completely for work. There was no extra benefits. There was nothing. It was just literally trying me trying to work on and off for four months and then I ended up not being able to take it because uh, it just became too stressful and I just like uh, called it quits and it was one of the most stressful times in my life. Anyways guys, that's been my five crazy escort stories. Let me know what you think of them down below. I was gonna say, let me know if you have any of your escort stories, but yourself, unless you wanna mention them, it's up to you. So uh, anyways, having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.